Okay, part two of the 10 things I would not do after being a financial advisor for over 20 years. Number six, I would not buy more life insurance than I actually need. There's lots of talk out there about whole life insurance for infinite banking, uh, retirement income, and a lot of other things. I am of the belief that you should only buy as much insurance as you need and only for as long as you need it. You can capture a lot of the benefits of infinite banking and other products without the overhead of mortality expense and administration. Number seven, I would not celebrate big tax returns. Big tax returns are not windfalls. They're poor money management. You should set up your withholding in a way where you can enjoy that money throughout the year to reduce debt and build wealth. Do not give the government an interest-free loan. Number eight, it's a two-parter. I would not let my children take student loans for undergrad. I would exhaust every other option before I would let them apply for a student loan. I would ask them to go the junior college route. I would ask them to go to a lesser school, or I would ask them to go part-time and get a job. Starting life with debt is really hard on young people. If they wanted to take a student loan, I would expect them to show me the research behind the prospects of the field that they're going into, the pay, the availability, the hiring rate, and then I would make them show me a plan on how they're gonna pay off that student loan. Remember, you get to put the college you graduate from on your resume. You don't have to put an asterisk by it just because you only went there two years instead of four. Second, I would avoid out-of-state tuition. You pay taxes to subsidize the college system. Let's use UCLA for example. UCLA costs in-state students about $13,000 a year for tuition and fees. That's excluding everything else. To be an out-of-state student, the same tuition and fees jumps to $43,000. Again, you're paying taxes. You might as well capture some of that money back by going to school in your own state. Number nine, I would not wait to buy a home just because I'm saving up my 20% down payment. While you're saving, home prices and interest rates may actually be moving against you, negating any benefit you get from putting down 20%. Don't be afraid of PMI, it's just a necessary evil. You can always try to refinance out of it, or in some cases, when the equity is in the home, you can call the lender and ask to have it removed. And number 10, I wouldn't go another day without a financial plan, a retirement plan, and an estate plan. I need to know where my money's going and what I'm trying to achieve. I wanna know when I get to get out of the rat race and control my time. And then I wanna make sure I know where my stuff goes and who's taking care of my minor children when I pass away. Those are all things that we have to deal with. It's just part of being a grown up. Thank you for watching these. Like, follow, and share for future videos where I talk about building a financial plan, setting goals, and some investment options. Thank you.